Hey, Adam here. I have some time this morning and I wanted to do a video on indirect bond. So you can see you've got uh, a model. It's got some brackets on it. So we're going to make a special tray that goes over top of this to where we can bond all of these brackets on the patient all at once without uh, very much doctor time. So there's some things that we need to do to this model and these brackets before we make that tray. So let me move the camera and we'll get to that process. So as you can see on this model, we actually have these hooks right here. So we need to fill those with a uh, block out that's water soluble. And the block out that we use that's water soluble is actually found in this syringe. And it is um, chocolate frosting from your local grocery store. Uh, this is not my process. This is a process I learned from Great Lakes Orthodontics. And um, the reason why we do that is because uh, you can put it back here, it'll dry, be hard enough to do the tray, but then you can soak it and the uh, frosting gets soft and washes away. Uh, the reason why we do the block out, like I said before, is the material will actually get encased behind these uh, hooks and you won't be able to get them out. So you'll, assistant will do the tray put it on the patient, bond everything, and then go to remove the tray and it'll pull the brackets right off. So, that's the reason why we do it. So I just take a little time to fill the syringe with frosting because it makes it so much easier to have a syringe than try to spoon it on there uh, with some sort of instrument. Uh, this syringe could probably do anywhere from 10 to 12 to maybe even 14 trays. Uh, that's how much frosting is in here. So and it takes maybe 30 seconds to fill it um, with the chocolate frosting. I like using the chocolate because number one, I like chocolate, but that doesn't mean I'm eating it. Number two is you can actually see it. So you can see if it's on there when you go to do the tray. Um, because if you do the tray without that frosting and you try to redo the tray um, because you forgot the frosting, you'll pull brackets right off the model and cause more, uh, more pain and heartache. Have to have, have to have the doctor put the brackets back on, reposition them, and it's just not worth, uh, it's not worth the headache. So don't forget to do the frosting. Once I get the frosting on there, I actually have a fan that I put these models in front of that will dry them faster than just sitting in uh, normal air, if you want to call it that. So it'll only take maybe an hour to dry this frosting hard enough to be able to make the tray. So the other, you may notice that this is actually a different model than uh, in the first section of this video. I do anywhere from 8 to 10 to 12 trays at a time, depending on their due date, but I try to get them to where I have a whole stack of them before I go ahead and break all the IB stuff out and just saves time to do them all at once. Those uh, hooks are filled behind. All we'll do is just place it in front of the fan, let it dry for an hour, and then we'll go to making the rest of the tray. Okay, so our models are now dry, or at least the frosting on the models are now dry, and uh, we can continue making our uh, indirect bond trays. So some of the things we need is obviously the models. We have 
one millimeter sports mouth guard material really flexible that's going to be the inner tray and then one millimeter Essex that's the that's the stiffer and that'll that's going to be our outer tray need a pair of scissors um, in here we actually have uh, this is Pam oil and uh, that's the separator between your hard and your sports mouth guard material to, so they can separate and you'll need a, a brush to apply that and then also we have our uh, bowl of water where we'll actually soak the models to release the brackets from the model uh, later on in the process so one last thing we'll need is our um, this is a uh, mini star from Great Lakes you can see right here Great Lakes um, and this is actually a positive pressure machine where it actually pushes pressure down on top of the material instead of vacuuming it like kind of the older style. So you'll need to set your mini star to, I have it at 1.5 bar. PSI, I'm not quite sure what that's at, but um, Great Lakes says 1.5. So what we'll do, is we'll take our flexible sports mouth guard material, place it on, put our seconds to 30 seconds place the model in and let it heat So now that, now that section's done, we can cut this excess off and continue on with the hard Essex material. So we'll use these scissors. There we go. So now, before we put on this the hard stuff, we have to put our separator, which I said is Pam oil, and uh, we'll actually brush it on these models, and that'll act as a separator between the sports mouth guard material and the hard Essex. So let's go ahead and do that. And we will set our timer to 35 seconds for the SX material. Okay, so now we've got our two trays that are made. What we need to do is cut off the excess, and then we'll actually soak them in this water for about an hour, and that will release the uh, separator on the stone, and uh, the brackets will come off of the stone inside of the tray, which is exactly what we want.
So out of the interest in privacy for this patient, because this patient has a name on the back of this model, I'll place these models in the water face up, but normally they go upside down, which allows air to escape better and that water to soak into that model. So we'll leave it here for about an hour and then we'll go from there. So this process takes a long time. Uh, so this is gonna be the end of part one. Look for part two. Uh, that's where we'll actually remove the tray from the model and continue and uh, end the whole process. Cool? All right.